Give me a moment. Yeah, give me a moment. Good morning and warm welcome to all the participants and our, to our resource person as well. Today we have the honor and the pleasure of having Dr. Uh, Engineer Pratik Badhuria with us. Sir is Assistant Professor uh, at RJIT BSF Academy, Tekanpur, Gawalier. And today the topic of deliberation for our esteemed guest is role of IoT, Internet of Things in Agriculture and Dairy Farming. Uh, uh, for giving a brief introduction of our guest, uh, I would want to uh, take your attention to uh, the uh, engineer Pratik Barduria has done his bachelor's of engineering from Rajiv Gandhi Pryodigi uh, Vishwa Vishwavidyalaya Bhopal uh, in electronics and communication, and done his MTech in communication technology and management uh, in 2013 from RGPV Bhopal. His vast experiences in different private and public organizations as industrial uh, trainee in iit karakpur executive trainee in hr johnson india limited and deputy manager as reliance communication navi mumbai he remains sfrf fellow at iit delhi and uh, also attended various workshops and trainings in the wireless communication area from the institutes of national importance then he switched to academic field and worked as an assistant professor with reputed semi government institutes like mits gawalier sr ms pareli itm gawalier and currently working as an assistant professor at rustamji institute of technology tekanpur gawalier he is also pursuing his in service phd from thapar institute of engineering and technology patiala punjab he has also published a, a number of research papers and technical articles in reputed international journals without further ado i present to you engineer pratik badoria with the topic role of iot in agriculture and dairy farming sir uh, please start you can thank turn you. on the camera as well yeah, anyways we can carry on yeah, yeah thank you sir thank you so much uh, my voice is audible to all of you sir Yes, yes, all of us are here. Yeah, you, your presentation is also visible. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for giving me such a nice opportunity. So I am uh, Pratik Budhaurya myself, and uh, I am right now I am uh, working as an assistant professor uh, in RJIT BSF Academy, Tekanpur. Today I am going to uh, deliver an expert lecture on the uh, role of IoT in agriculture and dairy farming. Yeah, it's a very hot topic uh, in a uh, current scenario because IoT is not a general topic. It's a universal topic in every field. And now we are discussing a particular role in agriculture and dairy farming. So IoT, these are my content parts, which include the introduction, structure, architecture of agriculture, IoT, application and uses of IoT, what needs to be done, and top 10 technologies and trends in agriculture livestock. And these are the, some IoT challenges and what will be the future of IoT. After that, there is a, some session for question and answer. Yeah, so now what is IoT? IoT generally stands for a interconnection of physical devices, sensors and software, allowing them to collect and exchange data without human intervention. And the farmer gets benefited by providing real-time data and insight that enable them to make a valuable decision. It monitors health and well-being of their animals. All of these uh, um, content gives you a physical perspective that the without human intervention means which can't do by a human being. The tasks which are not easily uh, caused or uh, driven by the human that will be done by the some robots and the robots already con uh, contains some sensors. So in particular agriculture and dairy, there are various type of sensors. We will discuss it in further slides. Advanced applications of IoT leads a heart monitoring implant a farm animal with a biochip transponder. In brief, it is a sensor network of billions of smart devices that connect people, system, and other applications to collect and share data. This is the some networking part. Maybe it is a little bit typical, but it's an essential backbone of a IoT. That's why I have included the slide here that there are four, four layer structure. There are also five layer structure in further technologies, but here 
the first layer is application layer which gives the authentication key agreement privacy protection cloud computing yeah it's also a very is uh, recent topic cloud computing in in this iot exactly what is going on behind the this technology the overall thing is cloud cloud means which consists of data and it's a server like a behave like a server though in the support layer it's a cloud computing secure security antivirus and the next one is identity authentication encryption mechanism maybe these all terminology may be new for uh, you or it's already you are aware about these terms and the last one is a perception layer which gives encryption and key agreement sensor data protection because whenever we are using any device the data is to be transmitted from the transmitter and the receiver end and after that it will come on a hardware platform which which means a final device so the four layer structure iot and when we are implementing that structure into the agriculture iot then there are object layer perceptive layer transport layer application layer and user layer it's a back end part of the programming which generally shows the how the agriculture is implemented how the agriculture iot if we are uh, uh, insisting a particular application of uh, agriculture that we want to uh, we want to capture the uh, data of soil moisture so how it can be implemented we want to measure the health monitoring system we want to implement a system which uh, measures continuously measures the health of the cattle or the farmers problems like uh, the fertilization of the soil or what uh, is to be done so th all these applications are based on these layers so if we are uh, uh, if we are uh, going to the object layer then in this layer the crops livestock agriculture machinery comes under this layer the second one is agriculture sensors it's a very important topic agriculture sensor we will discuss it further gnss gis geographical information system these are the devices which consist of latitude and longitude of a particular geographic area gnss is a software used to measure the latitude and longitude and how it is implemented and the personal area network like bluetooth rf radio frequencies zigbee these are the devices transport layer means the data is flowing in this layer land networks means local area network within the lab ethernet wmax worldwide interoperability for microwave access this is a full form of wmax actually in the blue line can wan network wide area network like 4g 5g and in the application layer it's very important layer because all the cloud computing cloud application cloud storage cloud services this is the public processing platform which the users can access the data anywhere anytime so this is the main concern in the iot and in the application planting gardening and breeding all the specific application when we are targeting for the particular crop uh, related to crops or planting and the gardening then these comes under the application layer and the final is the user layer as agriculture producer system manager these are the user and department why iot is necessary in today's scenario yeah of course it's uh, uh it's very easy to use because it's it will be come under the handheld devices like a mobile phone application everywhere we are applying uh, uh, if we want to uh, do some particular task and uh, with our mobile so we can take easily uh, we can press a button and the uh, and the, all the heart monitor rate or pulse rate of uh, our humans uh, human being are easily <clears throat> seen in the on the mobile so all these thing can be applicable for the agriculture sector also it optimizes the production and improve efficiency in agriculture and dairy sector these sensors are connected to the cloud via cellular satellite network network and iot has provided two fold benefit to the farmer they can now perform the same amount of task in a lesser amount of time and increase the crop yields with the help of accurate data obtained from iot how the crop yields will be increased because if the crop will get 
uh, on the production of the crop is not properly as per the climate so the sensor which are uh, inbuilt in the field they can, they, they can get uh, the data from the particular climate and gives to the and gives the information to the farmer that yeah this crop is not properly uh, properly grown as per the time these are the benefits of IoT. Uh, IoT offers a number of benefits for organization, enabling them to monitor their overall business process. Of course, if our overall process is uh, as per the timing and as per the concern and the production is in the proper direction, then definitely the business process will grow and uh, which will give, improve the customer's experience. It saves the time and money also. The, it enhances employee productivity, integrate and adapt business models, and make better business decisions, and generate more revenue. This is the driver of uh, uh, connectivity and uh, consumer connectivity, actually. Uh, basically, it's a low, uh, least power consumption in the X axis and greater range. range. All the cloud systems are connected through a satellite, cellular, mobile, and Wi Fi. Wi Fi, the full form of Wi Fi is wireless fidelity because the main concern in the cloud is networking and networking consists of various number of devices and the devices are connected through cell phone or the satellite. So the word which I have mentioned earlier, the agriculture transponder. Transponder is nothing, it's like a booster uh, or a device which is used in the satellite system. That thing is that thing called the transponder. So if we are uh, increases the range of the satellite or the bandwidth of the satellite, obviously the power consumption will be more. So to, to maintain the compatibility of uh, application and the uh, power consumption, this, this is the uh, this is the various technology using IoT, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Jadwave, and these are protocols actually. And protocol means it has some set of rules. And what the set of rules in Wi-Fi, it has a limited 10 meter of range. These are the some protocol comparison. Now the transforming agriculture through AI and IoT, how it could be done. In traditional agriculture, the farmer gets the farmland information limited, mainly through the senses. The process is time consuming, but not in real time. Yeah, obviously when the uh, farmer gets uh, uh, cover the uh, whole field, it will take more time where the um, soil is good and where the uh, fertilization of the soil is uh, not good. Uh, so these are the time consuming tasks. And agriculture production mainly rely on the human livestock machinery, large scale production capacity is low because there are no, no technologies are uh, available in the uh, past years. So right now we have a more number of technologies, more number of handheld devices. So it comes into the, it leads to the various advanced technology. So this in, in IoT agriculture, we are using various type of sensor network, which can quickly obtain a farmland environment data, real time and accurate. Here, the first thing is that we have a raw data. And in that draw, draw data, we have to uh, process that data in a particular format and apply in, on a particular IoT devices. So it's the, and this cloud is basically uh, IoT related to cloud and cloud related to data and data related to machine learning algorithm. That data machine learning algorithm is applied. Machine learning, deep learning, uh, maybe all are aware about these AI, artificial intelligence. So the IoT is an application of uh, AI. So it will come now uh, currently in the agriculture field also. So sensor network to collect information is transmitted to the background processing center after analysis can be precise, large scale, automation, management and control. You are saying that uh, some drone is uh, flying on the field and there are some poly house and uh, in that poly house some sensors are connected uh, which I have taken some data. Need of IoT in agriculture and dairy farming, environmental impact, drones. Yeah, of course, drones are uh, driven by the data which they are captured from the sensors. And according to the application of particular drone, it is used as a uh, drone are used for the sprinkler uh, like a sprinkler, it can be used for sewing machine, it can be used for cutting the um, uh, crops or the 
like a harvester so you know, there are various various of applications in the dairy farming and agriculture also a smart irrigation system whenever the crops get dry the water level is uh, low then the sensor connected in that uh, field can easily detect the yard yeah, there is some lack of water so it can instantly uh, alert the user that yeah there is some uh, lack of water so we can easily adjust the system and uh, properly adjust the device to perform the task quickly and the automated fertilizer and pesticide application livestock monitoring and all these things what it will be what it has to be done these all things are the resource optimization we have number of resources but we can't take the full benefit of that resources so with the help of iot we can take we can take or we can use any type of task or application for our needs this is the some simple basic structure of first one the farmer it acquire the real time acquire data from the farming like uh, data 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 again data is coming in various ppt data means the raw data like uh, the area of the field like uh, the um, uh, production of uh, last five years the final crop uh, the, the particular crop like a wheat crop we have uh, tons of uh, uh, crop in the at the output so we have taken the we have make an excel sheet and measure uh, and uh, note down all the previous years data and plot a graph after that we can predict yeah is the my crop will be a uh, fruitful or the outcome will be fruitful after two years or three years so that type of data i'm uh, talking right now so real time dynamic automatic control surveillance second one is the consultant analysis of accuracy data and uh, make valuable decision on the basis of the that data we have a uh, task how we can make decision yeah is the decision is fruitful or it's not a fruitful after that we are investing uh, we are ensuring our uh, uh, crop uh, protection uh, there are various agencies various companies which makes the uh, insurance of crops and uh, and any, any other assets also and there are four government policy these are the applications of iot in agriculture and dairy sector some of iot application like precision farming agriculture drones livestock monitoring smart greenhouses health issues predictions and if we are uh, particular going into the uh, disease of the cattle which are uh, which can be predicted with the help of the sensors or the biochip sensors which are mounted on the neck of the cattle so, so it uh, what are the tasks that sensor can cover it cover the health issues prediction comprehensive food plan milk quality production revenue predictions these are the uh, various applications these are the some inputs if you are imagining that uh, we have a device and how it works what are the inputs we are giving particular in agriculture field and how it processes and what will be the outcome so if we are applying the uh, applying the uh, particular technology in a crop data we have a crop data like which type of crop we have a wheat we have a maize what type of crop we have whatever with the crop we have large number of data from last five year we have taken the 10 years data last 10 years data at the time of sowing and at the time of uh, the final when it will be cut and then it goes into the processes then it processes for the according to the amount of data how much we the land will uh, acquire that crop and what will be the output so there are various inputs according to the our task there is soil data weather forecast data how the weather can be forecasted your there they are it is very easy in the present scenario with the help of data science applications by applying the machine learning algorithms and algorithm so as much as amount of we have data we can easily predict or we can easily take the final decision which will be fruitful for our particular application so there are some key inputs and possible output of smart farming smart farming iot to improve agriculture 
yeah agriculture iot refers to a network of physical components such as the physical component may be animals plants environment and natural element production tools and various virtual objects in the agriculture system are connected with the internet all these iot covers everywhere everyone is to be connected and can be connected whichever be the task like our mobile phones we are uh, moving uh, the mobile is uh, with us and we can uh take any uh we can see in the our health monitoring system also we can check our heart rate so just like that application we are using that application in the agriculture field so it intends to realize the intelligent identification yeah automate intelligent means the task which can't be done by the human it can automatically the overall word for this uh, sentence is, is that automation automation system and when the term is automation come it means the robot and robot means it has to be programmed by some programming okay in iot based smart farming a system is built for monitoring the crop help of sensors and sensors have different application sensors to uh, measure the light intensity to measure the humidity of the soil temperature of the outside the climate soil moisture etc and automating the irrigation system if the soil is a uh, little bit uh, uh, dry then the, it get alerts to the device and it will again uh, from uh, it will again do the irrigation system on the farmer can monitor the field condition from anywhere this is highly efficient compared to the traditional and conventional approach in terms of environmental issue iot based smart farming provide gets benefited in yielding better and efficient water usage and optimization of input and treatments iot can help recognize manage and control various agricultural elements processes and system in a more redefined refined and dynamic way iot device yeah it's a very common device and uh, uh, lora lora long range it's a spread spectrum technique a little bit but uh, anybody can uh, maybe uh, heard this device uh, lora is used in uh, the most uh, applicable device for iot is lora so it's a module it's like a modem we are using the modem in our home wifi modem and earlier it was a modem means modulator and demodulator so the the function of the modem is just like the device uh, is lora module in which uh, some chip is uh, inbuilt in that and that chip transmitted and received the data transmitted data is the raw data from the user end and the received data is after the processing of that data with the help of lora lora module we can take the particular uh, uh, output so these are the various uh, microsoft azure and arm bad it's a advanced machine embedded system microprocessor microcontroller based devices these are actually and uh, if uh, the lora is applicable for the in the milking system then the uh, it will predict the there are some this is the transmitted antenna here the uh, lora is connected and uh, it comes to the uh, it takes the data from the milk and grow and uh, provide the some valuable insight to the particular dairy man or the farmer that is the uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, differentiation there is some lack of uh, amount of uh, uh, quality of milk is not good as it, this type of outcome will it will give with the help of machine learning and deep learning algorithm in combination with artificial intelligence technique the agriculture and dairy sectors are emerging fields in today's plethora these are the major function real time data agriculture field that is temperature humidity light soil moisture these are the various types of data which i already discussed earlier uh, slide that uh, uh, temperature data humidity light soil moisture data network pass to the data processing system for intelligent analysis and processing and this is real time surveillance so these are some softwares behind that everything yeah, every task is to be done on some software and that software has uh, some algorithm on the basis of that algorithm algorithm means the methodology the programming we are using to process the data in the ai feed real time surveillance users can watch anytime and anywhere through the mobile terminal 
uh, personal answer devices or laptop to agriculture field actual images remote monitoring of crop growth process real time data and video to make manager more at ease we can easily take the data through the sensors and in the uh, uh, suppose uh, if you are uh, if you are, some sensor is connected uh, and at the paddy field and that sensor can capture the every step of the uh, crop every step like uh, uh, what's the growth of the uh, crop at uh, after 15 days or after 10 days what will be the changes in the leaf of that particular crop so this type of predictions and the forecasting things we are uh, forecasted that is my crop will be a, a beneficial uh, beneficial for me that what will be production is the outcome will be fruitful so all these things are based on the previous data and the pr present data which the sensors can capture uh, and which the sensor can capture if we are uh, talking about the agriculture field then it's a field and if we are talking about the livestock production management then the sensors can be a biochip mounted on the neck and pitted on the leg side of the animals we will uh, discuss this thing the just for the slide after that yeah major function data storage yeah it's uh, based on a historical data it can be stored from a knowledge base at any time processing and query and data analysis is very important task in the iot the data analysis should be very accurate and uh, it can be done with very uh, uh, accuracy system through intrusive uh, form to when the data chart and special distribution which can we are applying after that we are applying some statistics uh, on that data and uh, find out uh, and gives the output according to what the statistic measure what the root mean square uh, error what the mean square error will be done because these all tasks can be done even on the Excel one. Excel also, but the limitation of Excel is can't handle the huge amount of data, millions of billions of data. That's why the IoT and AI can come into the picture. Then when we have a huge number of data, so how it can be handled? So these are the major function, remote control user can at any time, use at any time, anywhere by an internet terminal can be implemented to where the aggregates of field devices of all kinds of remote control switch, intelligence decisions, platform system as self-running ability according to expert system, user database. The expert user database is very, very uh, crucial matter uh, while applying the technology at the user end, user setting, intelligent control of farm equipment. These are the key technology of agriculture IoT. It's the sensor perception technology, information technology, information processing. These are the some steps actually. That these are the some steps. First is the sensor can capture the data. After that, the information is transmitted through some module like LoRa, Zigbee, Bluetooth, and that information is passes through the some uh, processing uh, through some various algorithms are using. And this is a radio frequency identification which are uh, which we are using. Uh, currently in the present uh, uh, scenario like we are using the RFID tag you can see easily see the uh, RFID tag on our toll plaza how the toll plaza can easily detect the uh, our uh, vehicle number and uh, deduct the requisite amount as for the uh, in the from the wallet so it's nothing it's an RFID identification and the 3S technology and the remote sensing te technology Sensor technology are the magic of IoT, yeah, of course. It's the ability to detect changes in the physical status of things. It's essential for recording changes in the environment. What are the changes? What are the different, uh, what are the various lacuna in the environment? So that lacuna can be filled with the help of the sensor. Sensors are collect data at the basic basic thing is to collection of data collection of data everywhere in every slide we are writing the collection of data processing of data and the final apply uh, how the data is applied yeah just in the next slide we are showing you uh, how the networking thing is going on sensor market into micro electromechanical system mem and these are the technology which are using the current uh, sensor market an optical sensor, ambient light sensors, gaseous sensor proximity, sensor touch sensor. These are the application of various sensors, fingerprint sensors, and more. 
Sensors in electronic jacket can collect information about changes in external temperature and the parameters of the jacket. Yeah, this is the sensor networking. How it is to be worked actually, it's a farm node gateway, there's a 3G and 4G internet. And uh, this is a transmitted transmitter with that information is transmitted from the third generation and the fourth generation and in present 5G is already came and launched by the Airtel also. So the data, the gateway transmitter data through the link, the link is provided by the internet and internet gives the information to whom it's a IBM cloud IoT platform with no SQL DB. It's a language actually structured query language. It's a module to store the data which are uh, driven by the uh, particular application. And this is a historic predictive data. We are uh, predicting the data based on the previous results. Based on the previous data, the result can be calculated. And after that, it's a transmitter part. And this one is the receiver part. It's uh, we are uh, doing this thing for the herd management system and where are various groups of animals, various groups of cattle in a cattle yard. So data analytics in artificial intelligence cover. This is the variable sensors. And the if the cow is uh, uh, mounted with a biosip sensor on the neck and the data of that sensor that uh, uh, if any disease uh, is uh, Occurred in the uh, in the cattle, then it will go through the uh, sensor and it will provide to the database. And this database contains different different type of uh, like disease, like its uh, standing time, lying time, feeding time. There are various variety of data which a cloud can contain. So cloud can contain millions of data. Yes, millions of data, and that data is to be processed on a particular software and software like uh, software languages uh, machine learning deep learning it can be managed by the sql base or it can be managed by the python programming so to program that data with some proper logic and process them accordingly the whole system can is to be work this is the sensor nodes Actually, uh, if we are uh, seeing in this diagram, it's a LoRa module, and there is a Zigbee module, and there is an RS-232 485 converter. These are the some small, small components which a network can contain, a server-based and a client-based. You are seeing that in our uh, daily life also, that there is a server of, uh, we are, uh, we have a modem and it's like a, it behave like a server and we all are uh, whatever with the person that are using the wi-fi connection we are clients so just like the same way if you are trying to understand that it's a lora module it behave like a server and there are various nodes and the nodes are and the, these are the interconnected nodes because we already seen that the iot is an interconnection of physical devices and the physical devices may be a different modules and module and different devices and all these are interconnected it's like a mesh topology also so it's a it all things are connected to the ethernet card and ethernet is nothing it's a internet providing chip ethernet is the internet providing chip when uh, we are using the desktop uh, connection in that ethernet card is there uh, is inbuilt in inside it and there are wired network, computer, user, and cell phone. So it's a um, backend concept of the IoT. Sensors basically made using new technology are constantly emerging and developing toward a direction being embedded, intelligent, integrated, and miniaturized. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a little bit technical, but it's very interesting topic. And as per my concern, because we are using a device and what the device contains. The device contains a chip or IC. We can easily say, that, yes, sir, it's a IC. But what is IC also full form of IC? IC means integrated. And C stands for chip or integrated circuit. Both are same. So 
how that IC, how that blank IC can be programmed intelligently and how it can be embedded on our different different devices. And we are seeing earlier the mini HUI means the we are seeing earlier there are CRT based televisions, uh, television set are uh, available. But right now there are LED, LCD, OLED, the area of that particular IC is to be compact and these all things are based on the Moore's law. So I'm not going to that of uh, uh, technical uh, concept, but the thing is that mini actually means the compactness of that IC. You have seen that now the smartwatches have come in picture. So all these things are programmed. So the, the concept or the working of that particular sensor is same as in the IoT also. That's why I've included this particular words uh, are here. The functions of agriculture sensor become increasingly diversified in diversified in different different field in different tasks to perform different tasks like soil sensor, metrological sensors, water sensors, and plant sensors. This is the development system architecture, agriculture, IoT. Yeah, you have seen a picture there, IoT node. IoT node is like a, these are the some clients and here the field users like farmer so there are various small base station the, it can be uh, assumed that it's a base station it can be a transmitted a small antenna mounted in a particular field and there are some camera nodes also there which captures the image of the field and the uh, intensity of light and the node iot node what uh, uh, what's the main concept of these node these are capturing the data which are comes which are comes from the field users and there are so many there are drone imaging there are drone are flying over the field which can continuously measure the um, uh, climatic condition or temperature and pressure which are feasible for the uh, crop production and now the data is gathered or captured by the uh, uh, captured by the iot nodes and go to the server and go to the server is then transmitted to the cloud and this cloud will uh, this cloud will acquire different type of uh, gives different type of uh, uh, application according to remote users satellite imaging so it's a ground to skyway propagation because satellite mobile all are all have one common thing transmitter these are the transmitter these are the channel and these are the receiver so this is the basic uh, uh, concept for the development architecture iot yeah this is a uh, some pictures of uh, soil sensors and there's a farm boat uh, it, uh, the, work, the basic function of soil sensor, it it has it has drilled the particular field and measure the humidity, measure the dryness, measure the uh, also measure the uh, every properties of soil. Yeah, it is visible for the particular crop, and this is the farm out which are uh, it uh, which is the robot like structure. Because robot can, uh, we are assuming a robot is uh, like a human uh, body structure, but it's not like that. Any machine which can done the task automatically through with the help of programming can be say it as a robot. So it's a farm boat. It's a because it's a it is using a, it a, it is applicable in the agriculture farming. That uh, therefore we are say uh, we are saying that it's a farm boat. It's a it's also a robot. Which are automatically plucking the uh, fruit from the tree or the fruits on the plant so everything everything that uh, when the um, um, food says uh, ready for the uh, uh, picking uh, from the robot okay so these are the soil sensors to check the humidity and fertility of the soil water level sensors in the form of sprinklers agriculture robot and there are also various other types of these are basic uh, application based robot actually and if uh, in the uh, uh, there is a uh, some uh, presence of moth uh, which are uh, moving uh, around a leaf 
so it can also be it is also be protected with the help of drone drone can easily capture there is some activity on the plant which are not common which are not common so it can easily predict the task so this is the drone used for the detecting of more so this is the magic of the uh, iot and ai application but it's not a uh, so easy <laughs> because uh, uh while implementing uh, these robot and the task we are uh, given by the um, companies and uh, other users or the farmer that uh, we are we are you have to implement a device that uh, someone is predicting the moth of the a particular moth or some other thing which are not feasible for the farmer so the whole structure can be uh, implemented very uh, tediously these are the gis gnss and rgis with geographical information system of course when there is a climatic change uh, on the farmer's field so there is a geographical information for what are the latitude value what are the longitude values and how these latitude and longitude value values are in, uh, applicable for a device and these are the interconnection these are remote sensing technology are remote sensing gns is the software for navigation purpose and position purpose these three and uh, these three are the schematic diagram for the three s complementation and this is a typical application of agriculture iot first one is a water saving irrigation how the water could be saved by apply by mounting the sensor uh, uh, near the dam or uh, near the field how the crop growth environment monitoring system there is all, uh, also a different type of sensor uh, which are uh, implement which are uh, applying uh, or which are mounted uh, in the field uh, this intelligent agriculture machinery like robot animal and plant life information monitoring this is agriculture product quality and safety and traceability and in the animal and plant information there are two sub part there are animal life information monitoring and plant life monitoring system a smart way to monitor your livestock with iot yeah it's a innovation in smart dairy farming this structure with uh, divided into two part first one is a production innovation second one is a process innovation product innovation is a final product is a milk so milking system is again subdivided into three part milk processing equipment how the milk is preserved how the robot can be used for the this robotic milking uh, area and then preserving milk is smart sterilizer we are using and a cooling tanks and in that process innovation there are smart monitoring cow observation feeding production then after that position location activity observation these are the flow chart that what are the various tasks our sensor if the sensor is equipped with the uh, dairy farm or if the sister is the sensor is to be equipped with the nag belt of a cattle then this single chip ic the single chip or it behaves like a sensor can measure these various applications of a cow how much the standing time how much is the lying time how the cow is moved how much kilometer here and there the drinking of water feeding all these things come all the data can be captured with the help of this sensor the precision technology technology a chip is to be equipped with the uh, cattle uh, ear it this is a robot for feeding the cattle automatically it will move uh, around the uh, dairy farm and uh, immediately when the um, feeding uh, feeding is done it will uh, give the alert to the uh, dairy uh, dairy man that yeah the feeding is uh, empty so again automatically the uh, this robot can come and uh, provide the feeding to the cattle this is a uh, this one is a nag belt in that our uh, data uh, chip is equipped with a, uh, within the with this cattle and the data is captured on the base of software that what a heart rate how what's the bp of that particular cattle there are very very specification and all these specification comes and store in a data uh, in the form of a data 
these are the modern activity motors you use accelerometer to measure movements but the device which can uh, measure or capture the data related to the motion of the uh, motion activity is is like a accelerometer it's a microcontroller based uh, uh, device actually there are three parts of cow activity monitor activity tag can be mounted on the cow snack uh, on the uh, left leg or the right leg and the uh, and the, on the ear and this is a neck mounted system monitor sounds of cow chewing or uh, cow is chewing or not it is properly uh, taking the taking their feed it is properly taking the, the water uh, amount of water all the different different tasks are governed by this small chip and if the, the if this uh, is a ear mounted tag are used accelerometer whenever this uh, cow is going here and there so the data can be acquired by this chip also same uh, same thing is happened when the when this sensor or the other sensor is equipped with its leg so it measures the time of standing or lying and this is a robotic milking machine which is very very useful in the dairy sector and it's also a it's not a manual machine it's a robotic based arm actually all things can be done with the help of the robot automatically it can come uh, near the cow and uh, take the milk from the uh, cow this is the antenna uh, which are uh, equipped or mounted on the dairy yard or dairy shed antenna reads information transmitted wirelessly from activity tag that that tag is to be transmitted some information and that information is received by this antenna again this antenna gives the information to the final uh, receiver and so data collected wirelessly from the activity tag these are some cameras also uh, mounted on the uh, livestock uh, management uh, or the dairy farm that is a musculoskeletal problem there is some uh, problem in the uh, uh, if there is some problem occurred in the cattle then uh, we can easily the camera can easily detect the uh, through the thermal imaging cameras so the thermal imaging camera can be used to diagnose a variety of disorder associated with neck back neck back and limbs these are the some pictures taken by the camera this is the original picture and this is a picture taken by the camera or or a sensor these are some benefit improve breeding management greater insight into cow health decrease labor and reduce vet cost this is a overview of dairy supply chain in india that it's a dairy farm from where the milk is collected by the collection center and after that this milk goes to the chilling center and then that chilling center the milk goes to the dairy processor in the plant dairy plant and that dairy plant will again uh, 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 provide the uh, the milk amount of milk to the retailer and distributor and after that the milk is to be packed in a small packet form and uh, provided for the consumer purpose so in here this is the cattle and farmer this is a collection uh, agent is there and a chilling agent is there these are the manpower we are using here and this is a dairy processor the machines which are used for uh, freezing the milk or uh, applying some uh, sterilization process is done inside a dairy processor and an agent will uh, agent has done their task for packing uh, and uh, refilling the uh, milk for the consumer and these are the key activities for the milk production farm management livestock management grading of milk pricing of milk here there are different different tasks different different key activity grading of milk chilling of milk production milk actually when this is a manual data and when we are applying that we want to apply, we want to implement a uh, implement a method that this these this this whole process is converted into a automation system so when you are going to depth of uh, uh, machine learning algorithm or uh, deep learning algorithm actually it's a ai part uh, artificial intelligence part and uh, these what 
uh, all these things uh, are doing these are creating some data how many cattle are there how many farmers are there collection center what is the process inside the collection center so these are the features these are the features or these are the inputs variable for a particular um, uh, particular method to implement that system automatically and on the behalf on the observation of these important parameters we are applying the some algorithm to implement it then tag based interventions at a farm for better quality of the data this thing i already told in the previous slide that the for better quality of data yeah that cattle farmer milk production farm management so when we are uh, doing when we are doing practical uh, on the uh, or, uh, or gives the pro program the structure so we are taking the cattle number in numeric form and write down on excel sheet then again milk production what amount of liter we are uh, writing on our excel sheet and there are number of columns and that number of columns are correlate with the uh, with the input features of the machine learning and after that they these all data are connected the data can be collected with the help of some animal variable for small farm herd management solution there are various apps also mobile application also uh, which are uh, which are currently uh, available on the net or which are currently available on your cell phone also the thermal imaging sensor these are the visual imaging actually this visual imaging thermal imaging comes under the image processing there are various different application of artificial intelligence which are all these different different like speech processing image processing so these are the combination or the interconnection of all the different technologies we are using in the present uh, dairy farming or agriculture farming so when we are converting this manual system into the technology based system so these are the some devices these are the some sensors blockchain technology nlp natural language processing based virtual user interface this is spectral analysis of feed spectrum means the frequency domain analysis of the time the data which are providing which are generating is the time base it's a variation of time in that data there is, there is some time to oh, uh, the feed uh, feeding of cattle does it takes one hour two hour three hour to take the complete food or a whole day also so there is a difference so these difference are very important for the dependency of the data so how the output data is dependent on the previous data or the input data on the basis of that input data we are expecting that that the output will be come like that so this is the proper uh, methodology uh, applied in the uh, iot the goal better farm services there is a final goal for the um, uh, better farm services dairy farm it's a health insurance it's a life insurance a cattle insurance insure this, this covers under the insurance part and is a credit score monitoring and improvement expense management financing against uh, receivables small ticket loans these are the latest latest uh, technology to improve overall dairy farm or we are using the latest uh, technologies like uh, veterinary service cattle health monitoring system with the help of different types of sensors and the quantity of milk how it could be improved how the uh, sensors can be checked uh, the quality of milk what the limitation what the drawbacks uh, and that the uh, manpower can't do manually so that task which can which uh, the human can't do it can easily be covered or governed by the use of sensor and these sensors are based on the different application what the quality of milk what the fodder type of which type of fodder uh, we are uh, uh, using for the cattle food supplement what are the different food supplement composite feed cattle nutrition and this is the wealth management credit is the revenue generation methods 
which are uh, if we are uh, establishing or establish our dairy farm then all these basic necessities or uh, inputs are uh, under uh, are under cover for the implementing a dairy system so the final goal is to better farm services these are some iot challenges yeah of course there is some pros and cons in the iot also uh, which covers the security of data is very very much important because data security is serious concern to hack the system from the hackers because this is very serious issue uh, because the cloud security the data where uh, the data is very crucial for the uh, uh, for everyone if we have a dairy farm and we can't share our the our concept to any other one then on um, on the cloud there are various hackers are uh, ready to steal your data so it is a real uh, real uh, it's real a uh, very tedious task to secure your data yeah various anti virus and various other security agency or the consultant are also available that uh, we have uh, that they are not uh, they are uh, charging a charge for you to secure your data but still there is some problem the reliability and stability of the iot sensor because these all are electronic based chips and the reliability of the electronic item and the compatibility issue that the sensors are really compatible for a particular application because there are so many of application and the cost of different sensors are also different and the connectivity of all the all system in iot setup because yeah it's a serious issue because here in india the 4g and 5g is already launched but the actual connectivity because if there is no connectivity or there is some uh, difference while we are receiving our file or uploading or downloading speed is to goes down when we are uh, actually uh, doing some tedious tasks so the connectivity issues also a uh, uh, major challenge in the iot branding leakage is a iot is new in the market so it will take uh, Uh, one year more in india that uh, it can uh, be implemented or user friendly it's not a uh, uh, in general user friendly because it's a new in new uh, technology but yeah very soon in the further years we can easily uh, implement it the iot system everywhere these are some differences which i have taken this slides and this concept so can i and uh, this ppt sir Yeah, any queries, any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Parsimers, if you have any questions, please ask the sir. Any questions? Yeah, you can easily uh, uh, ask the question related to 